What is up everybody? I'm no Lex Given and today I have a Dominion highlight video. This game was one of my games from a recent match in a league and in this league we are only using base set cards so the strategies are pretty simple and it can be hard to mount some big comebacks but I was able to do that in this game. The game starts out pretty basic. Um, we're both going for witches and my opponent is using harbingers and winds up cursing me a little bit more than I am able to curse them. So my deck is looking significantly worse than theirs. And then they buy two provinces. And the pivotal moment in this video comes about halfway through where I'm down by about 17 points, I think it is. I have a negative three and my opponent has positive 14 and I get nine gold and instead of just buying a province and just biding the time until I lose, I start trying to think up some different strategies. And that's when I start buying libraries and start making a really cool combination of the cards in my deck that I have picked out. I don't want to buy any villages, I don't want to buy any markets, because if I do, because the curses are gone, that's going to make it really easy for my opponent to end this game. So I've got to come up with a strategy using the other cards in the game, and I put some cool things together, and it winds up being a lot of fun and a really, really good comeback. So we've got a witch game, so I am probably going to prioritize getting that witch. I see no trashing. Poacher will get worse once all of the curses are gone, uh, but I do think I probably want to go silver plus poacher and just get the witch ASAP. Uh, Bandit is also going to be pretty good, and there are ways to generate additional actions here. Um, but yeah, I think we're just grabbing poacher and silver and uh, running to the witch as soon as possible. So now I can poacher. As long as I hit a copper, uh, I've got the witch. Opponent going for a harbinger, which is fine. Um, but yeah, there we go. Turn turn three witch, always great. Um, now that I have a witch, like I could grab the harbinger here. But yeah, my opponent, if they had purchased a silver, they'd be able to buy a witch with this hand. So they're buying a silver now, um, and it just winds up being things in the opposite order. Um, I am somewhat tempted of getting another silver because witch is good with silver. You, you witch and then you draw into the silver and can play more stuff. Um, I do think we'll potentially want a village at some point just because village into witch is so good. Um, I don't know. I feel like in this early game, just silver is so strong. All right, I'm going to buy another silver. Just because, yeah, well, okay. Um, this hand, a village would have been fine, but now I'm gonna be able to grab a gold. So um, we'd love to see that, that's pretty great. Um, market could be good too, but I think gold is just gonna be um, pretty wonderful here. I'm not, uh, it could be market. Mm. Maybe I want one more witch. Now that I've purchased the silver, let's grab one more witch. Yeah, I like that. Um, will my opponent grab their second witch here? Probably. No, they went for the market. Okay. Um, so now we don't really need the harbinger because we already have two witches. We could grab the village to generate some actions. I don't hate that. I don't want to get too hung up on the... Poachers, like I said, because all of these curses are going to be gone uh, relatively soon. Um, if my opponent and I get through our decks three more times, which means you'd be able to use the poacher three more times. Um, but yeah, that's going to that's gonna happen relatively soon here. So let's poacher, try to find a witch. Village is fine too. Um, and then we've got four. Uh, four is definitely a little bit awkward with this kingdom because I've been shit-talking the poacher. Like, like, we'd love to pick up a market at some point. Mm. Next turn, unfortunately, we're probably going to draw two witches. So how do we resolve that? Well, we do have a lot of silver. 
Maybe some merchants wouldn't be too bad in our deck. Okay, five. This is great. That definitely means we're going to draw two witches at the same time on our next turn. And our opponent is cursing us more than we've cursed them now, despite uh, us having more witches longer. Uh, so that is a little bit annoying, but let's go ahead and pick up a market. Yeah, here's both of our witches. But this is still going to be a big turn. Um, yeah, my opponent has now cursed me two more times than we've cursed them. Uh, they're just grabbing a market here. So merchant into witch, and then we've got a whole bunch of cash. Um, we do already have one market. Hmm... I guess, I guess we'd want to band it before we really start buying gold, huh? Yeah, but it's tough because... It feels like, I guess this game is going to go a little bit slower, huh? Maybe I should throw a bandit in the mix. Because this game is going to wind up being pretty slow with all of the curses and things in here. Nobody's really lined up to buy a province yet. And I think we're going to get uh, slowed down, which means we will want to sell her at some point. Um, man, they are getting all of the witches. So what is that? I have, I have four curses to their two at this point. Um, so that is, that is super annoying. And now we get market. And not really much to show for it here with two buys. Um, Merchant is okay. Like I've said, we've got that two silver, but I do think that we'll want some actions additionally at some point here. Uh, this is a fine hand. We're going to get to five or six, but we'll be able to grab another market. And my opponent having a miss of a turn uh, definitely feels good. Estate was a great draw there because now we can just pick up a market. No problemo. And now with four, uh, we'll potentially look to village or something like that. Opponent having a really good turn here with six and three buys. So I think we'll see something like double village or village merchant here. Um, okay, harbinger, harbinger. Um, that's interesting. I don't think harbinger is going to be that great. I guess you can use it on the bandit. I guess you can use it on the golds. Yeah. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. Uh, with our four here, I'm just going to grab another village. Uh, I want to make sure that we do have the opportunity to generate some additional actions here. Wow. My opponent really just going off here. Do they have another Harbinger? No, that's the end of the turn. But they were able to top deck a card, so we're probably getting witched again next turn. Maybe that was... I mean... Okay. Okay. We've got our double witch turn. Um, that is pretty great uh yeah let's go for it my opponent is definitely witching us and giving us the last curse but now we're not behind by that much here and i'm considering just buying two sellers because there's going to be so many curses there's no way to get rid of our estates now um we could even sell her through our witches they're not really looking super great anymore um yeah, yeah, I think I'm down with that. Let's buy two sellers. I think that's going to help us uh, significantly. I just want to make use of those multiple buys from the market where I can. So yeah, now we have six curses. My opponent has four. Uh, definitely going to start to feel the weight of these curses here eventually. But this hand's looking good. This hand is looking pretty good here, actually. Yeah, look at this. Um, we definitely want to hang on to the silver. Might even want to hang on to the copper, but let's get rid of these curses. Let's mark it. Let's sell her this curse. Yeah, I mean, we did something here for sure. So uh, we only got seven, but it's seven with two buys. So I like that. Um... I think we want to go, like, market seller again. Uh, market is just, like, a free roll. I think the markets are probably going to get purchased up. So, yeah, let's just take market and seller and um, potentially try to draw our way out of this. Um, seller isn't really great with poacher, but uh, poacher does mean that, right, we're just going to be able to discard our curses, our states, get those extra cards that we're not really able to make full use of. Um out of our hands now. So 
Poacher will discard the curse, that's fine. And then we just Witch, and we didn't really get anything great here, but I think I like the Merchants. Mm, no, I think I like the Villages. We do have to be careful, because this game is close to being over. Villages, Markets, and Curses all being gone, so... We are definitely going to want to buy a province whenever we can at this point. The game is just so slowed down. Double Harbinger is a good combo. It means that you can, like, Harbinger for a card and then draw it and play it still. So, yeah, that's typically going to be Village or Market just to keep you going and keep, keep the deck fueling. Uh, so that's a pretty big turn for my opponent there. But it is seven. It's seven with three buys, I believe. Yeah, so... Uh, they are going to go for some victory points, Seller and Duchy. I think that's a pretty a pretty good play by them. Let's see if we can draw any actions. We don't. Oof. Well, do I want to buy yet another Seller? Yet another Seller seems like a lot, but, I mean, Seller would have been a great draw in a hand like that. I think it's going to be a good draw in a hand like this, discarding the Copper Curse and any other bad cards we get off the Village. So I think we're going to have a pretty good turn this hand. Obviously... When you draw your sellers, it slows you down a bit because they are card disadvantage because they cost a card and then you discard three and draw three. So you're down, you're, you're using four cards to only get three cards deeper into your deck. But hopefully, oh wow, okay. So my opponent is definitely gonna be able to buy a province here. Uh, yeah, and they are gonna go for it. Don't think they'll buy any coppers and things on top of that because their harbingers are really doing work. So maybe I undervalued the harbingers here, but the seller is going to be great because we are going to get to draw four off of it. So we've got a bunch of actions floating now. Um, how many actions floating? Three. So let's play the poacher last. See if we draw anything that we can poach away like that curse. Uh, so this is fine. Um... We have to discard the curse to the poacher. And then the question is, do we want to discard these? Probably, because if we can find a silver, that would be great. Or if we could find any actions, that would be great. We wound up finding nothing. Um, so that does not feel great. Um, yeah, we really would have liked to find like the witch and the bandit and stuff there. Um, that does not feel super good. Okay, I think I'm going to try to get on this Harbinger strat with my opponent and uh, see if we can make our deck a little bit better. Here's all the actions that we could have drawn last turn when we had three or four actions floating to end the turn. But doesn't look like my opponent is doing anything stellar. Just buying the villages and pushing us towards the end game here. They are uh, almost two Pravis up on me, so uh, it makes sense that they'd want to do that. All right, market into village. That's great. Um, let's sell her and discard a seller. Actually, um, gosh, undo. I think we only need to undo one. Oh, okay. Um, no, I want to undo the playing of the seller and just play a witch first because we'll have actions floating. And now, Right, now I can sell her away all of this everything, and that looks pretty decent. I'll draw my silvers. I don't know if I have any more villages to draw. Let's see, control F, uh, gains a village. So that is one for me, two for me, three for me, four for me. All right, so I have four villages, and I played two last turn. That does mean that there's still one in my deck. So let's toss all this. Uh, we grabbed a market, which seems fine as well. And then we can band it, and then we're going to be a little bit short. So that is a little annoying. Library starts to look good with these sellers and poachers. Okay, let's grab a library and... I think we can make something of this yet. I'm just a little bit afeard that these villages and markets are dwindling. I really don't want to buy any more villages and markets, but they're so powerful. So I do want to buy villages and markets. Uh, so that is a little bit scary, but maybe with a long enough game here, 
we can stretch this out and um, <clears throat> overcome our opponent with this one. All right, so Harbinger for the top deck and then Village to draw it. Yeah, that's pretty strong. Then Witch, then a bunch of markets, which that'll mean they're done, but they have a bunch of cash and are going to be able to buy another province. So things are looking scary. My opponent definitely got a little bit more lucky than I with the Witches, and we've been getting uh, more unlucky than them in other capacities. Um... Yeah, uh, <laughs> this this turn included for sure. Uh, yeah, let's try this Harbinger stuff. I do think Poacher is going to be interesting. Um, maybe I'll even want a second library. I do actually think library is going to be really good. And if you can do library with an action floating, those wind up being some really powerful turns. Now, there aren't... Oh, no, yeah, we do have additional buys with Market. Um so yeah, I'd say anything is still possible in this game. Um, my opponent now has like a slightly weaker deck um, in that they have three provinces in their deck and we do not. Or no, I'm sorry, only two provinces, but they've got two provies and a duchy, right? Yeah, they went, they went for that duchy pretty early on, which will hopefully set them back some. Uh, so let's do this. Let's sell her and discard everything, hoping to hit our library or some other fun actions. So there we go, that's great. Um, I'm not sure if we have anything that we can Harbinger, do we? Oh, we do, we do, okay. So we want to Harbinger into a village. Done selecting, yep. Uh, then we want a Poacher, we want to discard a curse. This is beautiful, this is like exactly as good as library can be. Um, we'll skip the witch. We'll keep the village. We'll keep the seller. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So this would be our hand if we keep the seller. Seller allows us to toss the curse. Um, so it's somewhat fine. Probably gonna wanna try to get another library in all of this and make a deck that is more synergistic than my opponent. Sellers and libraries. We gotta watch though, because this game is almost over. We can't buy any more sellers. Um, yeah, let's keep the seller. I think seller's gonna be good enough. We village, and then we seller, and I think I discard coppers. Let's see, nine. If we keep one copper, then we can buy two libraries. But we're going to hit another copper. Yeah, we'll hit another copper. <laughs> we didn't. We did not hit another copper. Oh, that's really annoying. Okay, well, this is fine. Um, maybe we can start making use of poachers now, though, in a way that my opponent cannot. We either buy Library Harbinger or Library Poacher. Um, definitely buying a library, not going to buy a province at this point. We need more gold, so maybe we do just buy a Poacher. Poacher Library is like a good combo. Okay, sure, let's try it out. My opponent's definitely now going to be inclined to run out like the villages or the sellers here. Um, but I'm actually feeling confident for the first time in this game. Obviously, my opponent is going off all sorts of crazy here and uh, doing some really strong things already with three gold, eight gold. They're going to be able to get a province. So this basically means I need to get all of the provinces at this point. And yeah, my opponent is doing a pretty decent job. Uh, so don't don't really love my chances right now. Um, but let's see if we can find a library here. We've got two of them. Let's hang on to seller. Uh, we found a bandit. No, I don't like that. Let's discard everything, try to find a library. We found a witch. Can we find a library? We found a cellar. Can we find a library? We found a village. Drat. Okay. Uh, let's grab another poacher. Okay. Okay. Uh, it's not. It's not all quite coming together. 
just yet. I think I'll Harbinger for a village. Because we need to have a village floating before we find the library. Um, yeah, they're buying the markets now whenever they can. So let's Harbinger into... I can either do Village or Cellar. There's two Villages in the deck still. Maybe I just want to go for Cellar. No, let's just grab a Village. Um, done selecting. Perfect, perfect. So now we Poacher, discard Copper, Market. Uh, we do want to use the Cellar first just to get our hand a little bit smaller. And now we Library and... Uh, we want to keep Merchant. That's a good one. And do we want to keep Library? Um, skipping it is like the same as keeping it. So let's... Actually, no, because we could hit our other... We could hit like another Seller or something. All right, so we'll keep it. We'll go Merchant. We'll just go Library. And then we'll play all this. So this is good. 14. It feels like we are finding our way back into this game, right? So I think this is li Library Province here, and that's 13. And then our last gold we just don't make use of. Okay, this is definitely a, a little bit of a roundabout victory. Maybe I should have tried to slot in another gold or something. Um, but I'm honestly feeling kind of okay about what is going on right now. Um, so I can Harbinger, and I've got my entire deck at my disposal. Uh, my opponent, I don't think, can have a great turn here, right? Oh, a lot of Harbingers, yeah. Just Harbingering for market, I guess that's always good value. Basically have to decide how I want to use these witches and villages, though. I'm not going to time take the time to calculate what is left in my deck. They're, they're running out the sellers, yeah. So now seller and market ends the game. So I really have to uh, make haste and make some big turns. Um, which is kind of anti-synergistic with library. Um, so maybe I just like Harbinger for a seller. And I could even get rid of the witch because it doesn't generate actions. So Harbinger for Cellar, Village into Cellar, Cellar my whole hand away. Oh, I dropped, I grabbed another Village. Okay. Um, well, that actually leads to some other interesting plays, because now I can Witch with Actions floating. I do think we're probably going to need a Cellar, but we have so many Cellars at the same time. So maybe I do just grab a market? Maybe I grab a gold? Mm. Like, the fact that I drew that means that I didn't even need to play the Harbinger here. I could have played the Villages and Witches first. Um, but I didn't know I was going to have another village. I guess I should have. I should have done what I said I'm not going to take the time to do and just just calculated what's in my deck. So we can have any one draw that we want. We do have a lot of actions. Maybe we just take like another village. We're gonna be able to library with actions floating regardless here. So let's... Let's grab a library. Um, the reason for this, too, is we have more sellers in the deck. Okay, this is good. Let's witch first. Then let's poacher to discard a curse. And we found a library. But this is going to be library with an action floating. Um, let's definitely skip another library. We really need to find um, seller at this point. We keep market. We skip bandit. We keep seller, uh, then we go market, we go seller. I'm gonna get rid of everything here. Um, we'd love to hit another village. Some of this stuff is good here too. Okay, merchant, seller, that's great. 
So this library is going to bring us back up again, but we'd love to hit a village before that happens. Beautiful. Market. Seller. I'm going to just discard one because getting the sellers out of our hand is great. Hmm. No, we don't want the witch. Okay, now we library and we draw a bunch of stuff. Do we want poacher? We do have an action floating. Um... We can probably keep Poacher. Do we want to keep Poacher? Um, we don't have an access to our other library. So Poacher really isn't super great for us. Let's skip it. Oh, we do. Okay, so now we want one, two, three, four, five. I didn't know I still had a Harbinger. All right, let's just play this. We drew the poacher. That is going to be great. So now we can put library on top. We poacher, we discard estate. And now we library again. Uh, we're going to skip the village. And then we play all this. 20. That's not bad. 20 is not bad. Um, I think we grab two provinces and a poacher. Don't think we really have many other options. Uh, yeah, we can't buy a duchy here or anything. We could buy two estates. Could that be relevant? Um, yes, because my opponent buying one estate keeps them even with me, but there's two more provinces left. Yeah, we want to get we want to get victory points in our deck though. Ah, but poacher's so good with the strategy we've got going. The only way we win this well no, that's not true. Next turn, if we buy province, market, seller, we win. So let's keep that alive. Oh, gosh. This is horrible. Um, and my opponent's going to have a good turn here. They're probably just going to end it. Six. They're going to buy a duchy. We're just going to buy an estate. Oh, we are dragging this one out. I don't think they want to buy a market here because all, that would just mean I could buy duchy, seller, and tie. There's no... Okay, yeah, they buy a duchy. That's actually... Right. That is, that is the best play. Now we are exactly a province behind, but now we are not exactly a province behind. And I dare I say, I think we can win this. So... I like what we've got going on here with the library and the seller. We have made a really cool deck, and I haven't really seen this type of strategy before. This is like the best library has ever been for me. Um, I've never utilized it uh, to this extent. Um, we already can buy a province tie up the game. All that would require is Harbinger put Copper back on top and then uh, Seller to do that. Um, seller to, to... Oh no, Seller can't just draw the Copper. What am I saying? Yeah, Seller can't draw the Copper without discarding my Copper. Seems like Harbinger isn't that good here. Oh, Harbinger is a May. Okay, so since Harbinger is a May, let's let's run it out and then decline to use it. Okay, and then let's Seller. If we just discard Bandit, I think, you know, we'd be decent odds to just draw the Copper, but I think I'm going to discard two things. Oh, that's so tough. My opponent said Gardens would have been good in this game. 
Uh, yeah, especially with workshop on the table. Uh, this is so tough. This is so tough. I'm pretty sure I want to discard the bandit. Do I want to discard this copper? I have so much dead stuff in my deck, but I've also put so much, so much of that dead stuff is in the discard pile already. I'm going to discard both. I'm going to hang on to both golds. Okay, definitely play library here, uh, skipping everything. Yeah, baby! Okay, that was close, that was close. But now we are on even ground with my opponent for the first time. Yes, they can buy a Pravi and win the game, but that's what, these are the moves you got to make at this point in the game. Um, mm, Harbinger into Village is going to be really tough for them to not win here. But with only four cards in hand, if these are just some amount of coppers, yeah, that's just an estate. That's fine. So I think we buy a duchy here with our library and we'll slightly pull ahead on them. Oh, we can't get it. We can't get it. Um, I don't even want to buy an estate at this point. I just want to buy a uh, poacher. So we're giving our opponent one more turn here, and it's going to be a harbinger turn. So this is definitely scary. They're probably going to be able to top deck this card with a harbinger. No, they did nothing. Okay, I think we've got it then. We sell her. We discard everything. And it's hard to say I think we got it when we're just drawing completely random four cards off the top here. But look at those completely random four cards. This is great. Okay. Village. Merchant. Market. Yes. Oh, and now we've got Seller Library. We discard our estate. Do we want to discard our silver? Uh, I don't believe so. Uh, would let us draw our entire deck, but I think we just do this. Two silvers is fine. That's going to that's gonna let us buy. Um, we keep the market for sure. We mark it, we autoplay, and now we've got 11, so that is going to be enough for province and an estate. And there we go. We've done it with library of all cards. GG. Okay, that was definitely an insane comeback there. So I hope you guys enjoyed that game. If you want to find the full match you can find that in the video description below and i'll also be uploading as well as streaming all of my matches from this season so follow along at twitch.tv slash no given if you want to watch along live and participate in that experience because this was this was a really fun one and um yeah that's gonna be it so thank you very much for watching i'm no Lux given peace